Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am fine and I hope all of you are fine and you are having a very good week. Students, as you all know that we are studying unit number 18 of 10th class physics. The title of the unit is Atomic and Nuclear Physics. Today we are going to study nuclear reactions. When we talk about nuclear reactions, we categorize these reactions into two types. The first type is called nuclear fission reaction and the second type is called nuclear fusion reaction. So today we are going to distinguish between these two nuclear reactions. So let's start our today's class. We will start with nuclear fission reaction. So what is a nuclear fission reaction? Here is the definition. In nuclear fission reaction, a heavy atom splits up into two small nuclei with the release of large amount of energy. One of the very simple and basic examples for nuclear re fission reaction is atomic bomb, atomic blast, hydrogen blast, uranium blast. Whenever an atom blasts, it releases a lot of light energy, sound energy and heat energy. So uh, in nuclear fission reaction, we study about the splitting up of one heavy atom um, into smaller particles with the release of large amount of heat and sound energy. So let's see one of the simplest example for nuclear fission reaction. Here is a, a neutron which is bombarded with uranium, one of the isotopes of uranium U-235. Uranium is a natural unstable radioactive element. Uh, whenever this uranium will absorb uh, the slow moving neutron, it will come into the excited state and uh, this is a, a momentary and temporary state stage after that the uranium will split into two small particles krypton and baryon with the release of three neutrons now let me explain this section this is a neutron a slow moving neutron this neutron is bombarded on one of the isotopes of uranium uranium absorbed this neutron and goes into its excited state now this is the excited state which is also called the intermediate stage which is temporary uh, that lasts for only few seconds and then this uranium will split into barium and the second element is krypton with the release of three neutrons these three are the neutrons which are also uh, which we also get at the end of this reaction so we have started with a slow moving neutron and we have ended with three fast moving fast moving highly energetic neutrons we can use these uh, neutrons to bombard with another uranium atom to start another nuclear fission reaction so a uh, uranium uh, you can say uranium blast hydrogen blast atomic blast these are the examples for nuclear fission reactions Uh, students, do you know that who discovered or who studied nuclear fission reaction? There are two basic scientists. The first is Otto Hahn and the second is Stressman. These two scientists studied that uranium splits uh, into two smaller particles with the release of large amount of energy. The first scientist is Otto Hahn and the second is Fizz uh, Stressman. These two scientists worked together uh, and they made the foundation for atomic and nuclear physics in 1939. On his services, Otto Hahn also received a Nobel Prize for his achievement in 1944. He made a very important um, and very uh, successful achievement in the field of atomic and nuclear physics. He studied about the splitting up of matter with the large amount of release of energy. Now we are going to study some of the important properties for a nuclear fission reaction. First of all is it is a three stage reaction means it completes in three stages. So let's see the simple uh, similar example that we have discussed earlier neutron that is bombarded on uranium uranium absorbed that neutron and goes into excited state and the end we get barium krypton and three neutrons. So the first stage is called reactant stage. So in reactant stage, we bombard neutron on uranium. 
The second stage is called intermediate stage that lasts only for few seconds in which the uranium absorbed a neutron and goes into highly excited state. And the third stage is called product stage. The product stage is the stage in which we get krypton and baryon with the release of three neutrons. So we can say that nuclear fission reaction is a three-stage reaction. Okay, students, so now let's see uh, animation for nuclear fission reaction. This is a slow-moving neutron that is bombarded on uranium U-235, absorbed by U-235, and then uranium splits into krypton and baryon with the release of neutrons. So, nuclear fission reaction is a highly energetic reaction means it releases a lot of energy about 200 mega electron volt of energy is released in each fission reaction 200 mega uh, electron volt is also a unit for energy joule is the unit for energy electron volt is the larger unit uh, for energy so 200 mega electron volt of energy is released which is a very very large amount of energy In every nuclear fission reaction, at the end we get three neutrons. These three neutrons uh, can be bombarded with other uranium atom uh, to start nuclear fission reaction. So nuclear fission reaction makes fission chain reaction. That is described in the diagram. This is a slow moving neutron bombarded on uranium that splits into krypton and baryon. This neutron is again bombarded with uranium. Again, uh, krypton and baryon are formed and again three neutrons uh, are uh, released. So we can say we can start with a single neutron and at the end we can get a large number of neutrons. So a nuclear fission reaction is a chain reaction that is not easy to control. Fission chain reaction is a massive reaction that can cause an enormous explosion. मतलब अगर इसको कंट्रोल ना करें हम तो ये एक्सप्लोजन ब्लास्ट हो सकता है जो काफी ज्यादा मैसिव होगा सो न्यूक्लियर वेक्टर्स आर यूज टू कंट्रोल न्यूक्लियर चेन रिएक्शंस यूजुअली न्यूक्लियर लेबोरेटरीज आर सेट अप टू परफॉर्म न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शंस न्यूक्लियर फिशन रिएक्शन इज नॉट इजी टू एस्टैब्लिश इट इज वेरी एक्सपेंसिव एंड वेरी डेंजरस रिएक्शन so special uh, care and laboratories are required to perform nuclear fission reaction usually nuclear reactors are used to perform such type of reactions now let's see an animation for nuclear fission chain reaction neutron bombarded on uranium krypton and baryon are formed and then three uh, product neutrons again bombarded on uranium and this series continues and a chain reaction is formed. Now we are going to study nuclear fusion reaction. So what is nuclear fusion reaction? The definition is in nuclear fusion reaction two light nuclei combine together to form one heavy nucleus with the emission of large amount of energy means nuclear fusion reaction is completely opposite to nuclear fission reaction in fusion reaction we study about the combining of two small nuclei to form one heavy nucleus fission may breaking hoti hai fusion may uh, formation hoti hai fuse karna fuse se ye word nikla hai so fusion means combining of two light nuclei to form one heavy nucleus so uh, this is the example for nuclear fusion reaction um, deuterium is a um, is an isotope of hydrogen tritium is also an isotope of hydrogen these two hydrogens combine to form helium and neutron this is deuterium this is tritium when these uh, two small nuclei uh, will react together they will fuse together and at the end we get helium and one neutron with the release of large amount of energy so this is the very simple uh, example for nuclear fusion reaction 
now again we study about the properties for nuclear fusion reaction nuclear fusion reaction is a two stage reaction means there is no intermediate stage and uh, there are only two stages in the first stage um, the first stage is called reactant stage and the second stage is called product stage in the reactant stage protium and deuterium combine together they fuse together and in the product stage we get the end product that is helium and neutron with the release of large amount of energy so in nuclear fusion reaction there is only uh, there are only two stages reactant stage and product stage now again uh, see the animation for nuclear fusion reaction two uh, isotopes of hydrogen combine together and helium and um, neutron is released helium is formed and one neutron is released so again like nuclear fusion reaction nuclear fusion reaction is also a very massive reaction that releases a large amount of energy or you can say heat energy about 25.7 mega electron volt of energy is released in nuclear fusion reaction also there is one very big difference between fission and fusion reaction is there is no chain reaction in fusion um, means fusion mein koi koi chain reaction nahi hota fusion mein re reactants combine hote hain aur products aate hain hamare paas simple do stage do stage uh, two stage reaction hai जिसमें कोई इंटरमीडिएट स्टेज भी नहीं है और जिसमें कोई चेन रिएक्शन भी नहीं होता टू अंडरस्टैंड और टू एस्टिमेट द अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी रिलीज इन न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन रिएक्शन द वेरी बेस्ट एग्जांपल इज सन और आर सोलर सिस्टम द आइसोटोप्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आर वाइडली प्रेजेंट ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ सन एंड इफ यू नो द टेम्परेचर ऑफ सन इज ट्वेंटी मिलियन कैलवन 20 million kelvin sun is a huge ball of fire aag ka gola hum isko kehte hain to suraj se jo itne saalon se hum tak energy aa rahi hai that is the result of nuclear fusion reaction sun ke upar bahut zyada isotopes hain hydrogen hai jab wo combine hote hain to helium banti hai aur energy release hoti hai to sun se jitni bhi heat energy aur light energy hum tak aati hai that is the result of nuclear fusion reaction so by this conclusion you can easily conclude that nuclear fusion reaction is a massive reaction that cannot uh, be conducted on earth earth pe hum isko nahi kar sakte kyunki suraj itna dur hai hamari earth se uske bawajood uh, sun ki jo light aur heat energy hai wo hum feel karte hain aur itni intense energy hai to agar hum earth pe ye reaction karaye to wo bilkul uncontrollable hoga so the energy coming from the sun is the result of nuclear fusion reaction so these were the two reactions we studied today i hope all of you have understood take care of yourself khuda hafiz